the planetary defense system is used to track near-Earth objects. NASA established the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, and so far they have detected countless near-Earth objects. It's an uncomfortable truth that we're vulnerable within the universe. It's a fact that asteroids approach the Earth every year. There's never a guarantee of total safety, and it's just a matter of sheer luck as to whether we're directly hit. NASA has just sent their DART spacecraft up into space. DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and it's set to crash into an asteroid on purpose, all in the name of research. DART was sent up in a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Its mission will then take place in September of 2022, when NASA will deliberately route DART to crash into an asteroid to test the asteroid deflection technology. Sensors and cameras in space though don't always detect things that can be easily explained, and every year strange objects in space are caught on camera, usually leaving us with more questions than answers. This is what happened when Athena noticed a strange object flying close to the International Space Station. She was able to take some screenshots of the object, but couldn't explain what this large object was. She said the following. Just two days ago I was watching the live International Space Station cameras, and these are the photos that I was able to take. This thing was flying right in front of the ISS. It looks like a huge mothership. Athena goes on to mention that this isn't the first time that she's seen strange objects flying close to the International Space Station, but notes that this object was particularly big and that it could easily be seen via the space station cameras. Often when strange objects are seen in front of the International Space Station cameras, they are normally small and passed off as things like space debris or camera anomalies, but this is one of the biggest objects that's been recorded flying in front of the ISS. Those who often watch the live cameras have said that seeing these anomalies is not uncommon, and what's strange about them is sometimes they hover around the ISS, almost as if inspecting it before flying off. NASA has said that these objects can easily be explained as things like space debris, noting that the area above our planet is littered with millions of objects, many of which make their way in front of the cameras, and makes it look like something is flying past. Although this explanation is widely accepted by scientists and researchers, there's many who have said that this isn't what's being seen and that on a number of occasions when these objects fly in front of the cameras the live feed shuts off. This has led some to say that NASA often switches off the live cameras, because they don't want people seeing these objects, saying that the debris explanation would make sense if these cameras didn't shut off every time something flew in front of them. As with any discussion around mysterious flying aircrafts, there's some who hold on to the belief that these crafts are real, all skeptics have said that all people are seeing is space debris flying in front of the cameras. Another mysterious object that was seen close to the International Space Station was this one, with one user who saw it saying that it was in the shape of a triangle, and that it could be seen flying past the ISS. The lights didn't flash, and reminded some of the triangle crafts that are seen around the world. It's still up for debate what they are, with some saying that they are a type of hyper-advanced stealth aircraft, while others think they don't belong to us, as they've been witnessed for over 70 years now, and old documents that have been released by the government have detailed that they're able to travel at extremely fast speeds, can avoid being detected on radar, and also have the ability to hover motionless. One user said the following about this object, How can people say this is a piece of space debris? It's blatantly an aircraft that's close to the ISS. Some of these photographs don't look like crafts at all, and definitely go in the category of space debris, but this one doesn't. I'm sure this is a triangle-shaped aircraft. End quote. NASA is currently concentrating on near-Earth objects. They said the following on their website. Near-Earth objects are asteroids and comets that orbit the sun-like planets but their orbits can bring them into Earth's neighborhood, 
within 30 million miles of Earth's orbit. For example, back in 2018, we saw more than 91 Nimbus hits of different asteroids of all sizes. The scary thing is out of 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the Nimbus event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids nearly striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current tech, showcasing just how threatening these large celestial bodies can be. Recently, an asteroid by the name of 2019 OK made headlines around the world. This wasn't because of its size, but rather because of its sudden appearance in our sky. We had no idea it was close to our planet until the day it passed by us. Again, this just shows how fragile we really are. Our best scientists and researchers had no idea this object was flying past until the last minute, and at that point it may have been too late. As of right now, it's looking like Earth is safe from many of these celestial bodies. Regardless, although many of these asteroids are still millions of miles away from us, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration has labelled these space rocks as being potentially hazardous. This comes down to the fact that at some point in the future, these could pose a threat to Earth, meaning that they get added to the long list of other asteroids that will need to be monitored in the future. So what do you make of these interesting photographs, and what do you think they are? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.